Global security is an objective for all humanity. This is a new world we are living in. The European security order is under attack as never before. Freedom of choice, security is still fragile. What have we to do to master the challenges of today and tomorrow? There are still people who want to challenge borders. There is no justice in this world. How do we deal with the newly resurgent Russia? The uh, recent upheavals in the East. The Ukraine crisis. Where does NATO enlargement fit into all this? The rising and the collapse of political Islam. There's something that's disconcerting about that. If Europeans aren't free to choose their own destiny, they will once again have it chosen for them. For them. We have to do everything to maintain security. Human rights are in danger. No matter where you are from. To find a solution. You have to care. You have to invest. You have to do. There has to be freedom. 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 We're re-examining a number of things related to European security. 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 That balances with human rights. Human rights. Human rights. Human rights. Democracy. 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 Democracy is something that we have to hold on to. This conference has been very timely. It is putting Central Europe and the Visegrad region on the map of transatlantic thinking. It has permitted us to discuss such important issues as democracy, freedom, human rights, and how all of those fit, not just in the present, but very importantly, how they'll fit into the future. We must continue to stand strong and stand up for our values, for a Europe that is truly whole, free and at peace. In its scale, in its ambition, in its organization, literally a first class global type operation.